All right, folks, happy Saturday once again here. Uh, I'm running a little bit late. Uh, it's, it's about 6 p.m. One thing led to another with odd jobs today, which is a really good thing. A lot, a lot of stupid little stuff got accomplished, which is great. Um, I'm just beginning this little crop update. So I'm very happy and pleased to show you the regrowth of the hybrid BMR sorghum. And this is the uh, what we've been calling all year, this is the primary field. The secondary field, forget it, forget it. The one that we chopped, uh, that's gonna take a miracle. It's, uh, anyway, let's talk about this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm extremely pleased. Um, that rain that we got on top of that uh, 100 to 130 pounds of uh, pure urea nitrogen did this did this wonders now for anybody that maybe didn't catch the videos or if you're new or something you're seeing a separation here i ran out of sorghum seed and i couldn't get any more so i had opted to put this uh this wedge as we like to call it into peas and oats which was not the greatest. We are gonna take a look at some damn fine peas and oats though. Um, I did not put obviously any fertilizer on this. Now, depending on what time, when you plant it, you can get, sorry about the wind folks, you can get two harvests of peas and oats. As you'll see, there's some stuff already regrowing here. Um, you can obviously see some oats and of course the peas. But uh, I have absolutely completely discounted this. Uh, I'm very confident that within three weeks or so, we're gonna have one hell of a nice sorghum crop. Now we might only get about, uh, I don't know at the rate this is going, if mother nature cooperates and we keep getting these warmer days, um, I don't know. That this stuff is a monster, folks, especially a second regrowth. We witnessed that last year. We might just get another three foot crop off of this. I, I don't know. Within mines to uh, high moisture wrap. What you're seeing right there, along with that cow cattle candy that we made by the farm, plus the peas and oats that are gonna be done within days from now, high moisture. Looking at all those lines is the only thing that's got me, keeping me from kicking in some doors and windows with feed this year. Um, that is our saving grace. All the cattle, they're gonna get a lot of high moisture feed this year. Right now, without putting a real science to it, I'm here to tell you they're gonna get a one for one a high moisture bale of one form or another, peas and oats, sorghum, alfalfa, cattle candy. And uh, cattle candy is what I named uh, some 50-50 alfalfa grass or that trefoil. Um, we're probably looking at a one-to-one -one just to, uh, you know, abide by the hay or the lack thereof. So, but it's... Yeah, very fortunate for all the high moisture. I am very happy I did not put all my stakes on dry hay this year. <clears throat> and extremely happy for all that, for that new property, which was just, uh, just the ridge, that new ridge hill. That, uh, that added a good amount of hay in. So, yeah. I'm happy. This looks good. For the time of year we took the first cutting off, which wasn't long ago. For the major drought that we suffered in here for about three weeks, three weeks of dust. Um, very happy, lucky, very fortunate. We will be seeing a very fair harvestable crop within weeks. What am I doing with this field? I don't know. I had in mind of putting this into pure alfalfa, new seeding. 
I gotta tell you, I don't think that's happening. Um, I think I've got enough new seeding and grassland out there. I have to keep some property. I don't know, I gotta sit down with my books. Um, kinda looking forward to one of these next really colder, colder mornings, colder days, excuse me, which I hope isn't for about another month from now or two. Building a nice fire at camp and sitting down with the books and racking my brains on what I want to do for a crop rotation, crop planning for next year. I don't know. It's very possible this could go into corn. I don't know. I do know that this will not, will not be tilled again. Um, we nicknamed this the devil, the devil's backyard here, folks, this summer, spring, and it is awful. This will be uh, heavily disked and worked up that way. This will not be tilled. A plow is not allowed in here, nor the chisel plow. So we'll see. I got to figure it out. All right, we need to keep these videos short here, but uh, sorghum regrowth, I'm liking what I'm seeing, happy and confident, and uh, it's good stuff. Folks, we're going to go check the corn next. Talk to you here in a little bit.